Hi guys, welcome to part three of my PC build series. I'm doing something a little bit different. I've got the uh, camcorder on a tripod and it's over my shoulder so I can have both hands free to um, get a little bit better uh, handle on the parts. What I'm going to be doing in this uh, video today is setting up my motherboard. Uh, so that's putting in the processor, memory, uh, and CPU cooler. And I'd like to talk a little bit about why uh, I picked these particular parts. So let's get started. Okay, so let's get inside this guy. Alright, so here's the motherboard. And I'll put this aside real quick so I can show you what's in the bottom. Uh, that's USB 3.0. SLI connector. Uh, these I really like. Uh, these are Q connectors and what these are used for is the uh, front panel connectors and all of the little cables that come in your case. Uh, those have to get plugged into your motherboard and what these things allow you to do is to make those connections away from your motherboard and actually you know close to where the cables are so you can actually get a really nice look as to you know where those things have to go and then once those are plugged in here you um, end up taking these guys and then just plug them in your motherboard so that gives uh, makes it a lot easier than trying to uh, get real close to your motherboard and sort of eyeball where those things have to go so that's you know something really simple but really really convenient SATA cables so you get a pair of SATA 6 gig cables, which are these white ones, and then regular SATA 3, or uh, three, yeah, SATA 3 gig. Faceplate, or I.O. shield, I guess. And I'll bring that up close. You can kind of see like there's a foil here. And underneath that little foil, there's like a piece of foam. You can kind of see it in there. And uh, it will give you a really nice um, solid seal, I guess, between the back of the motherboard and your I.O. shield. So that's actually pretty cool. And then, of course, your manual, CD, and some other info. You know, they every unboxing video I've seen, they all say, take this uh, DVD and throw it away and download your drivers from the website. But I guess if your you know, LAN is not enabled when you load up Windows, you, know, you do have to go to this to at least get your LAN driver so that you can then download your stuff from the Internet. So don't throw this out. Just hang on to it, and then we'll check out to see if we really need the driver or not. Okay, so here's the motherboard. I'm not going to do a you know, really in-depth overview of what's on this board because it's all over the place. So... Uh, I'll link up a couple of videos so you can can see that. But there's a couple of things I wanted to point out which I think are actually kind of cool. Uh, first off, there's onboard power and reset button on this thing. Um, we'll zoom in here. You can see where it says VGA LED. And there are a handful of these little LEDs all over the board. There's one for a VGA or you know, one for your processor somewhere and there's a couple other uh, LED indicator lights that are around. And what happens is when this when you boot, uh, if there's an error, uh, those lights will flash or LEDs will flash so you know which one of these uh, components has an error. Which is pretty cool I guess if you're troubleshooting. Uh, so you have the ability to fairly quickly figure out what the motherboard thinks is a problem. Okay, here's the i5-2500K. Uh, I already cut the seal off camera. It's a lot easier to do it that way. It's the heat sink and the pre-applied thermal paste. There you go. 
I will probably never use this, so it'll go back in the box. And then here is the processor. And that's what the back looks like. There are no pins on that. There are actually pins on the motherboard that plug, well, not plug into, but actually make contact with those leads there. Okay, so for my CPU cooler, I picked the Hyper 212 Evo. And right off the bat, let me say that I did take a look at the Noctua NHD14, the Thermal Right Silver Arrow, the Corsair H100 um, uh, water cooler, and a couple of other CPU coolers that uh, may be considered uh, maybe more higher end. But I can tell you that this uh, cooler, the one that I picked, is probably two or three times cheaper than any of those guys. And when it comes down to it, I'm not going to be an extreme overclocker, um, at least uh, not in this build anyways. And I think for you know the price and the performance, I think this is going to work out just fine. Okay, so let's open this up. Okay, so let me get a little bit closer there. So we've got a bag of parts here. It's a backing plate. And some other hardware. Screws and uh, I guess different mounting systems depending on whether or not you've got an AMD or Intel. And some Cooler Master Thermal Compound. Instructions. And here's the fan, or the uh, CPU cooler. This is kind of heavy. Feels a little heavy, actually. Uh, so 120 mil fan in the front. It's kind of smoked. Uh, so it's not a solid black. It's actually kind of cool looking. Stuff the, can you see that? It's kind of cool. So we've got one, two, three, four, eight heat pipes, or four heat pipes, I guess, four on each side. And you can see that the bottom here, that um, those copper heat pipes are sort of smushed together here. Uh, so I guess that's supposed to increase your um, heat absorption, I guess. Another uh, piece of advice, uh, something that I, I wouldn't do because there's a big signal or a big warning sticker on here, but be sure to take this plastic protective seal off before you put it on your processor. Um, I have read about horror stories of a guy forgetting to do that and of course the processor overheating and then melting this plastic and you have, end up having a big mess. So we're not going to do that. We'll make sure to take this off when we install it. All right, here's the memory that I picked. These are G-Skill Rip Jaws. Uh, these are DDR3 1866. And there's really not a real unboxing for this. Um, I'll just take these out when I'm ready to put these on the motherboard. Okay, let's get the processor and the memory in, and then we'll worry about the cooler. So I'm gonna zoom in. So you can see that, and I'm going to try and do this so that you can see it, but I'm more concerned about me not breaking anything, so if the, this doesn't come out right, then my apologies. So first off, there's a little lever here. Lever, not lover. <laughs> um, this, you got to press down and swing out, and that actually lifts that arm, and then that lifts the, uh, the little bracket there that holds down your processor. Now uh, this little cover here, this cover here you want to keep uh, because if something's wrong with your motherboard you want to make sure to pop this back on uh, before you send it back. And what this says is, it says important, remove the cover by lifting the tab only. Um, there's a little tab here and 
a place for you to put your other finger and then to squeeze and then that will just lift out like that all right so on over here it's tough to see and I'm not gonna take the camera off the tripod while I've got this out but there's a little um, indicator that uh, points to where you want to point the processor in to get it in the right way. And on the processor, let's see if you can see that, right in this corner there's that little gold triangle that corresponds to this corner right here. So when you pop your chip in, you don't want to force it, you just want to drop it in there and make sure that you line up that gold corner with uh, the corner on the board. And there you go. Don't have to force it, you don't have to push it down uh, because you don't want to bend any of those pins. This lever will come down and you want to make sure that this front part here there's a little screw here and that this guy is going to get um, underneath this screw and that's going to hold this down. And then you're going to push the lever down and then you'll be all set. So I'm going to do a quick check before I do that and make sure I've got the processor in, uh, set properly and then I'll come right back. Okay so we're good on that and I just uh, pushed that uh, cover down and made sure that that was seated properly. So I'm going to zoom back out and uh, I'm going to install the memory. All of these parts smell just amazing. Uh, it's really like, you know, nerd perfume or nerd cologne. It's just ridiculous. Okay, so memory's next. And I'll show you this. Uh, this is the uh, G-Skill Rip Draw. This is a 4 gig stick. And of course, I've got four of them. And just wanted to show you that the, uh, the red is actually really, really nice looking. And the black uh, PCB underneath is really, really slick. Um, you know, the motherboard that I picked is uh, blue and black, and uh, there is a, uh, or was a blue version of this, but that was a slower speed, and I went for performance, not for aesthetics or cosmetics. The um, tabs over here pop out, and these ones on these sides are fixed, and what you do is uh, you line up your slot on this side, and of course on that side and then just push down and to hear that snap and you know that the uh, memory is seated. Uh, because I'm putting in four pieces of memory I don't have to worry about uh, trying to figure out which pair of memory slots to use, either the black ones or the blue ones. Uh, but if you're only using two sticks of memory you need to take a look at your uh, your guide and uh, that'll tell you which ones to use. So I'll get the other three in and we'll do the CPU cooler next. All right, there's memory install, and uh, we'll do the CPU cooler, but I think I'm going to be doing that off camera. Um, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I'm actually going to read the instructions, um, so I want to make sure that I do this right. So rather than bore you with a video of me reading, um, I'll get this on and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so the CPU cooler is in, and I wanted to show you a couple of quick things see how close the bottom of the fan is to um, you can see it right there in relation to the top of the uh, heat spreaders on the memory it's really very very close but that's okay you can see how tall this thing is and let me show you the bottom of this thing see the backing plate the bolts Okay guys, that's part three. Uh, coming up we're going to be unboxing the power supply, getting the motherboard in the case finally, and uh, if we have enough time we'll set up the fans as well. Thanks.